Okay, hey everybody, it's Hannah, and I'm back with my December wrap-up. First book that I read of December was Ravage by Jeff Sampson, and this is the third book in the Deviants series or trilogy. I don't know the way that it ended. I don't know if there's going to be more, um, but it was published in 2013, so I don't know if there's going to be more. I kind of want more because I really like the characters, and I like the story. It's actually a lot better than any other stories that I've read because I've read some really crappy stories, not gonna lie. The next book that I read was Heaven by Alexandra Adornetto, and this is the third book in the Halo trilogy. And I'm the type of person that if I start a book or a series, I have to finish it. Even though I started like disliking each book more and more because the characters started to get super annoying. So that was the last book in the trilogy. The next book that I read was Shift by Rachel Vincent, and this is the fifth book in the Shifters series, and I'm almost done with the series, but this is like the series that I talked about like 0.2 seconds ago. If I start a series, I'll finish it, even if I hate it. And I don't hate the series, but there's some series that I'll just suffer through. <laughs> But, I don't know, I'm the type of person who if I don't like a book, I like to complain about it, and then I like to read all the other books so I can complain about those too. Next book I read was Dare Me by Megan Abbott, and honestly, going into it, I had no clue what this book was about, and it turned out to be a lot weirder than I thought. It's about cheerleaders, and someone dies, and it's, it was weird. It was really weird, not, not even kidding. Ugh. And my sister is a cheerleader, and I was like, that's awesome. That's just great. This is what she's gonna do in four years. It's wonderful. Whatevs. Next book I read was White Cat by Holly Black, and I loved this series, honestly. This is the first one in the Curse Workers series, and this is the first thing I've read by Holly Black, I think, but I got this as an ebook, not an ebook, an audiobook, and the narrator was Jesse Eisenberg, who was like my favorite person in the world. So it was really awesome to listen to it, and that's probably why I liked it so much. Not that the story wasn't terrible, it was actually a really cool story, and I actually really hope that she's writing more of these, because I liked it so much, but where was I going with that? I don't know. Next book I read was Palace of Stone by Shannon Hale, and this is the second Princess Academy book, and this is kind of a middle grade book, I think, but I read Princess Academy and I loved that one when I was younger. And the second that I found out a second one was coming out, I knew that I had to read it no matter how childish it was, honestly. And I did not like this one as much as I liked the first one. Next book I read was Cinder by Marissa Meyer and this is the first book in the Lunar Chronicles. And I was super late on reading this. I wanted to read it forever and then just forgot about it and read other books. But it was really good. I like the retellings of fairy tales. Okay, next book I read was Team Human by Justine Larvalsteer. Larvalsteer. I don't know. I hated this book. I hated it. Next book I didn't like either. It's the Iron King by Julie Kagawa. And this is the first book in the Iron Fae series. And the cover was really pretty. But I hated the main character. I have a problem with hating protagonists, especially female protagonists. Next book I read was Rift by Andrea Andrea Kramer. And this is the Nightshade prequel series. This is the first book in the series. And I thought it was pretty good. Gave it four stars. Next book I read was Red Glove by Holly Black. And that is the second book in the Curse Worker series. And this one was really good. I think in this one, Castle's brother dies, but then I don't know what that makes the next one about. Okay, the next book that I read was The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. And I liked it, but I like to think, because I watch many cop shows, that I'm pretty perceptive and I'm good at deducing things. And this book didn't have any plot twists that I didn't know about. The next book that I read was Black Heart by Holly Black, and this is the third book in the Curse Worker series. I don't know if this is the last one or what. I hope it's not because I actually really liked this, and I, I don't remember what this book was about. Honestly, I have no clue. I forgot. Next one I read was Black Dawn by Morganville Vampires, which is the twelfth book 
And that is another series that I like to torture myself with. I don't know why. I got 12 books in. I'm still reading it. I, oh, there, there was a point where I just hated these characters so much. I just hated them. But I gave this book three stars. And I don't remember what happened. I read too much. It's a problem. Okay, the next book that I read after that was Rise by Andrea Kramer, and this is the second book in the Nightshade prequel series, and this one was weird. I didn't really like it. The ending was annoying, and the guy that I kind of liked, whose name I forgot, even though I didn't want her to end up with him because I didn't like Ember very much, um, he goes crazy. He goes bat shit insane. Next book I read was Hunted by PC Cast, and I have read so many of the House and I books, this is the fifth one, and I have read these, and I don't remember what happened in this one. I don't know. Like, not enough happens in these series that it distinguishes the books from each other, but there are so many books that you're like, did it happen in this one? Or this one? So after I read Hunted, I read Unraveled by Jenna Showalter, which is the second book in the Intertwined series. And I didn't like this one as much as the first, but I'm going to continue to read this series because I feel like it, even though I hated the ending. Next book I read was Scarlet by Marissa Meyer, and it's the second book in the Lunar Chronicles, and I read too much. So this one was a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood, kind of. Like, the only... she wears a red hoodie, and there's a guy named Wolf. Like that's and a grandma. That's all. Next book I read was Towering by Alex Flynn, and I did not like it. I I don't know. I went into it thinking that I would like it because I loved Alex Flynn's books. Next book I read was Tempted, and then after that I read Burned, and that's the sixth and seventh book in the House of Night series, and I don't remember what happened in them because I don't care. The next book that I read is With All My Soul by Rachel Vincent, which is the seventh and last book in the Soul Screamer series, which went on forever. And the ending really annoyed me. Yeah. This is another case that I didn't like any of these characters except for Emma. And she ended up going kind of crazy in this book, but I liked her. Next thing I read was a novella, and it is Adrian's Lost Chapter by Rochelle Mead, and this is The Bloodlines 0.5. Next book that I read was Awakened by PC Cat. This is the eighth book, and I read this one too. I don't know why. I have a problem. No, oh God, I didn't like this one very much. But the next book that I read is another House of Night book, because there's something wrong with me. And it was called Dragon's Oath, and it was a novella, and it was the first one, and I hated it. After that, I read Poison Princess by Cressley Cole, which is the first book in the Arcana Chronicles. And once you get past the first hundred pages, it gets really, really good. So if you started this one, and you're like, man, this blows, get past the first hundred pages, and then it gets good. Promise. The next book that I read was the ninth book in the House of Night series. It's called Destined by PC Cast. And I don't know what this one was about, but I did not like it. I don't know why I gave it one star. I don't know. What I read next was Alice in Zombieland by Jenna Showalter, which is the first book. Yeah, so I liked Alice in Zombieland, actually. I really liked it. I was in the Jenna Showalter section of my library, which I told you guys about in my library hall, but I got it because they didn't have the other books that I wanted, and I liked it. Dose thumbs up. Yeah, dose. Next book I read was the last book that I read, actually, of 2013, and it sucked. I read Lenobia's Vow, which is a House of Night novella. It's the second one by PC Cast, and boy, did this one suck too. Go out with a bang. That bang is me shooting myself. 
because this book sucks so much. Okay, that is all the books that I read in December. I have a problem. 29 books this month, which is about book a day. Go me. Heck yeah. Feeling pretty good about myself. Bye.